Welcome to another episode of Colloquialisms of the Black Man. We have a new guy in the building today. Introduce yourself. I'm David. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Uh, I'm studying music and media management right now. And yeah, I'm in the first year. Yeah. And are you single or taken? I'm taken. This is my partner. We're <laughs> <laughs> the only ones there. <laughs> I had to do that one there, that was a oh. setup. I wanted to do it here. That was a setup. Okay, so this quest, today's question is the black woman's hair. What is your opinion on weaves, braids, natural, straight, and how do you prefer it? <laughs> I feel like this is a testy one. Ultimately, here. I feel a woman should be able to do whatever she wants to as, as far Amen, as. Amen, brother. For sure, for Amen. Sure. However, I love black women, mm. and I love women who take pride in who they are naturally. So it's, it's a two-sided, I mean, it's, I don't mind if she wears weed or a wig or whatever else, mm -hmm. but I appreciate it a bit more if she takes that extra effort to take her natural self and just really make it presentable. Yes. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. All right. It's also about showing pride in who you are. Yeah. So I believe it's worth it. It's also a waste of money for I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> what are you talking about? Because it you is you not. You respect them for who they are, you know. So they yeah. have to just show themselves. And yeah. They are beautiful, Complete. you know. Yeah, yeah, completely understand. So you prefer the natural, yeah, yeah, natural course, elements, yeah. okay? Yeah. I also, I mean, for me personally, I also prefer to be natural. Yeah. Um, but of course, like uh, my brother already said, that mm. it's it's up to the woman really to decide. Yeah. But then, of course, hair, uh, especially black hair, is always political, right? So then, I want to know sometimes from the women who choose to have weave. Yeah. Are they aware of maybe the political side of them choosing this? You know? Um. I think I think with mm. black women more so we kind of just do whatever the hell we feel like doing mm -hmm. um, to our hair. Like there are days where I feel like I need to have braids, and there are days where I feel like okay I need to put on a wig, mm -hmm. and there are days where I feel like you know what my afro is gonna fly today. And it's just about how we are feeling at the time, at the moment, the month, the week, whatever. Yeah, but then you this know? for you. I mean, you're you're a vote person. Then maybe yeah. you already have that level of awareness. Mm. But not everyone growing up, especially in white white yes. dominated spaces, mm. have that kind of awareness to understand why am I preferring <coughs> uh, straight hair, hair over my natural hair, you mm. know? So uh, if that level of awareness is there and then the, the woman or the person so chooses to have mm -hmm. uh, straight hair, mm -hmm. then more power to that person. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. And oh, I, I like the diversity. I personally prefer natural hair. Yeah. But I like the diversity when a woman uh, like wearing weaves or like whatever, mm -hmm. cornrows, dreads, whatever. Yeah. I like it too. I like yeah. the diversity. A black woman can pull off anything. Everything. A everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. Name it in the book. Everything. everything. <laughs> no, um, yeah, the, our hair is, um, is very, very diverse. Um, we can do a lot with our hair and I think it's, it's such, uh, recently there has been such a spike in um, black women taking back the power of their natural hair and saying to society, you know what, no, you're not going to tell me how to wear my hair to work or whatever you know just recently in 2019 there's a law that was passed to say that we can wear braids and locks and our natural hair to work it's like York, are you right? crazy me yeah exactly it's like in 2019 right. so we've had to do all of these things for hair up to our hair for so long you know straighten it and whatever else and now it's like we're taking back the power and it's 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 a beautiful um movement i think and david what do you what do you prefer well i love afro, afro hair first of all so it just it's just beautiful that's why i always prefer it. natural is always what i prefer um although i understand all the work you have to put in like women have to do so much to their hair to have the afro standing up and whatever and I understand that sometimes it's just too exhausting. You just braid your hair, you wear braids for a month or put on a wig. But for me, I love natural hair and I think that's like women should choose what they want 
but I prefer it always over yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah. And okay. I think it's different now. Mm. Before, in the past, it was a, a black woman trying to be like a white woman. Mm. But now we, we have, we're in a, a society where we have white women who want black lips. Yeah, and black, and black butt and black exactly. bodies and black, black skin, nose and, and black skin, skin, everything. So yeah. it's, it's actually a different platform now. Mm. And because of this platform, because each race is taken from the other, mm. I think it's more acceptable for a woman to say, you know what, today I'm going to wear my hair straight. Yeah. Tomorrow I'll wear it braided up, etc. Yeah. So there's less of a stress. Mm. Uh, connected with you, yeah. but in the past, it's like, hey, wear your natural hair because yeah. you're a black woman. But do you do you, do you think that this stress is over? I don't I don't know. No, it's not, it's not, not, it's not, not. It's not the past. That's what it's, I meant. Like it's not it's not the past necessarily because when it comes to professional settings, this is still very much the case that that women are expected to, uh, black women are expected mm. to have long um, straight, straight hair. hair. And so. I, I think to that also this natural hair thing, it's a trend too. Like True. it's not like people came out and said now i finally do it mm -hmm. i'm over this straight hair it's mm -hmm. just a trend retro or like all old school stuff came back and then people just started wearing their locks and yeah. i don't know and afros and, 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 afros and, and also short hair yeah and yeah. short hair and, and short hair all is also that, that's, natural and that's you see it even more now yeah. even uh women that have both both yeah, hair heads, yeah i've shaved yeah. my head twice in my life um, and they, I did it because it was periods of time in my life where I was going through a struggle. And I think that um, this is another thing that um, our black men in society needs to understand about black women. Mm. We go through these um, moments in our lives where it's just, it's heavy. Mm. And we're just like, you know what, fuck it. And it's, we shave our heads. It's like this, it, this dramatic hair change that helps us to cope with the things that we're going through going through so whether it's to put on a weave that is yellow or to um to put on a wig that is like all the way down to your knees or to wear long locks or to shave your head it's our coping mechanism is our hair mm. and and it helps us through so many things because when you change your hair you also get to see a different side of yourself mm. and a different type of beauty within yourself um and i think this is what is not being understood about us and um, so being able to change our hair every week or every month mm -hmm. or whatever it's a, an empowering thing for us you know what i mean mm -hmm. um, and it makes us feel like we're this like okay you know what they say that they didn't black woman is like they didn't tend different women because she has a different hairstyle every mm -hmm. week yeah that's the thing i like every <laughs> 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 in, my, in my point if you're beautiful it's I don't, I don't care really about the hair. If you're beautiful, if mm. I attracted to you, I don't care about your hair. Mm. I care about your appearance, about your character. Yeah. That's basically all. Okay. Yeah. And the statement I made is more of to let women know it's okay to be comfortable with yeah. changing up. Yeah. Because yeah. there are other races borrowing from us as well. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's why I say where it's past a mm -hmm. bit. Just mm -hmm. the other mindset that we that we that we have at this time. Yeah. Of course the stress is not over. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's a process. I think that goes to what, what you mentioned earlier that this is now a trend. And there's also of course a flip side to it because if we then expect black women to always you know be natural, have braids, where's your pride and what and these kind of things, this yeah. is also putting unnecessary pressure on on black women, right? Yeah. So, and it's, uh, it's, it's, and yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's not just people that they want. On the other hand, it's giving opportunity. I mean, trends always start and start good yeah. things, and then the people just have to take it and make yeah. their own out of yeah. it. So, it's an opportunity, and yeah. I think it's good, yeah. but still, it just started because like the models just look that way now, and the media wants it that way, and yeah. this is how it changes. What comes next? Exactly. The so but ultimately, it should be the choice of, of exactly. any individual. Exactly. individual. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like um, with Afro hair as well, it's so empowering because we're the only ones that have it. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm I'm sorry, but no other race of woman can pull off a freaking Afro man, mm -hmm. like none. Mm -hmm. And it, it's it's empowering when I wear my afro, but it's also exhausting. It is exhausting to deal with afro hair. I love my afro hair. It's underneath this wig that I have on now today. <laughs> And I absolutely love it, but it is exhausting to deal with. It is costly, mm. first of all, because you have to have the right products to deal with it. If you don't have the right products, your hair breaks. If you don't have the right products, it's, it's just, it's damaged to the point of just like, you know, whatever. So it's, it's, it's really costly. It's exhausting to deal with. So when we wear our weaves and our braids for, four, for a month, 
don't argue with us. Just go, babe, you're beautiful. Even with your, your new growth, you look good, girl. And just move on with the day. New growth. <laughs> <laughs> the new growth. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You get the fresh braids and then it's new growth and it's looking all trashy and just be like, girl, you look, you go, girl. I actually want to grow braids, but that new growth is the process I don't want to go through. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to have shit locks, you want to have bread locks. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for your opinions on that. And thank you for joining us on another wonderful episode of Colloquialisms with the Black Man. We love you. Thank you so much. Woo-hoo. Uh, 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 we're out. <laughs>